When I was a kid, I grew up on a farm and I couldn't even go near the animals because I had allergies, asthma, bronchitis, hay fever, emphysema. My whole respiratory system was messed up. I got colds, flus, fevers, constant infections. I was a mess. My dad worked with all kinds of toxic substances like turpentine, tractor oil, gasoline, and then he liked his beer and vodka at the end of the day, which messed up his liver. He had so many toxins in his blood, it pushed out through his skin, so he had really bad eczema and psoriasis. My mom started having arthritis and rheumatism. We were messed up. In my job, since I couldn't go near the animals, get this, was to go out there and cut down the weeds, the thistles, the nettles, the burdock, the dandelions. Little did I know that those very plants that I was fighting to cut down were the ones that could have healed us all. Dandelions are better for you than anything you have in the refrigerator. They are a superfood and a natural medicine. Aside from being a complete food with all eight essential amino acids that make protein, dandelions are a strong blood cleanser, liver cleanser, they dissolve kidney stones, they help acne, cholesterol, they prevent cancer, they reduce gastrointestinal problems and even diabetes. The yellow flower is one of the highest sources of lecithin in the world, even more than soy. And burdock, that's that plant that has those little round velcro balls that sticks to your clothes and your hair. Little did we know that that's one of the world's top 10 healing herbs. It's a very popular anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal, anti-tumor. It cleans the blood so well, it makes it one of the world's great skin cleansers. It removes acids from the blood, which makes it great for eczema and psoriasis. It balances hormones, arthritic and gland problems. And milk thistle, thistles, all thistles are edible. Milk thistle is that tall herb with the spiky sharp leaves and it contains that white milky like liquid that, by the way, if you put that on moles, warts, or skin cancer, it helps dissolve it away. Milk thistle is one of the best things you can take for liver. It helps cure hepatitis as well as cirrhosis of the liver. The seeds contain a substance called salimarin, which coats and guards the liver cells by preventing toxic materials from entering the cells and helps rebuild and regrow new liver cells. And mallow, that common plant that grows everywhere in everybody's yard, is good for bronchitis, asthma, emphysema, getting rid of mucus. It helps the whole respiratory system, especially when you're suffering from colds. It also helps digestive problems like stomach ulcers and urinary tract swellings and inflammations. And plantain, it's one of the best things you can take for hay fever, allergies, asthma, even tuberculosis. It helps get rid of insect stings, which I got all the time, fevers, infections, skin disease, poison remedy, blood purifiers, good for colitis, stomach aches, diarrhea, and my dad's prostate. If only we knew back then that this stuff that grew wild and free in our yard could have helped heal us of what we had. Oh. Man, the world needs to know about this. And this stuff is right outside your door right now and it's free. That's why I made this five DVD set, which walks you outside your door and shows you what's out there, what it looks like and what it does. This is over nine hours of video. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. This video shows you the most popular plants found pretty much anywhere in the world, what they look like and what they do. It even comes with a free recipe booklet, which shows you how to easily make delicious meals from the free wild plants growing in your area. Simply go to freefoodandmedicine.com. That's free freefoodandmedicine.com and get this video set. You will learn so much and boy will you feel the difference.